So oh wait, I put on lipstick. What? I put on lipstick. Me too, me too, me too. Hello everybody and welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers podcast that's also a video. I am Red. And I'm Talia. And today we are talking about Agnes Gonja Boyajou. Repeat that. Did that right. No. Agnes <laughs> Gonja Boyajou, otherwise known as a monster. The mo- no, Mother Teresa. Of Calcutta. Of Calcutta. So, she was recently made a saint. Yes. And... You know, she's always been loved. Like there's this media mm-hmm. hype surrounding yeah. her. Like if you can, if you ask the average person, probably like who's the nicest, kindest, most compassionate person mm-hmm. on earth who has lived on this earth next to Jesus, they would probably <laughs> say Mother yes. Teresa, right? But mm-hmm. right, I hope that by now you have read one of the many, many articles debunking the myth of Mother Teresa. Yes, debunking the myth. That she's saintly, or that she's nice, or that they they practice good medical uh, practices in the missionaries of charity. Okay, that she's saintly. I would think I would argue actually that she's very saintly. I mean, saints are evil. Just <laughs> read, read about their lives, like the, the lives of these many saints. Okay, some of them would have done good things. Yes. But the others are monsters, like like mm-hmm. Mother Teresa, which we will talk about today. What makes them saints are not really the good works that they do, mm-hmm. but the help that they do to promote the Catholic faith. And that's what yes. we're going to emphasize here. Before you call us biased, we are free thinkers after all. Maybe we have a beef against anything religious, anything that has to do with faith. There was one recent study it's not so recent. It's 2013, I think. Yeah. It was from the University of Montreal, and they collected around 500 more, more than 500 documents mm-hmm. on the life of Mother Teresa. Of course, some of them would be biased towards being pro or anti Teresa, but anyway, they collected 500 of them. You know, just to eliminate whatever yeah. uh, lack of objectivity there, and they have concluded that it's a myth. Mother Teresa is a myth. If you can read about it yourself, it's in the University of Montreal website, and mm-hmm. it's uh, it's conclusive. I mean, as you have mentioned, the people who go yes. to the establishments. Okay, Mother Teresa had over also also over five hundred missions in one hundred countries around the world, and we in, have some in the Philippines. Even. Some in the Philippines, even. Actually, I wrote about some experiences that she ha- that some of the people in the Philippines had. Check out this link here. I wrote about it a few years ago. But anyway, people go to those places not to get well. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's what you expect to go. You're yeah. sick, you go it's, to it's a It's a medical mission, essentially. Right? And you that's expect to get better. Say. But people actually go there, according to the studies, mm-hmm. to die. Yes. They just go there to die and suffer. Yes. Not even not even die with, you know, morphine injected. Then you make the death no, it's uh, not as painless. pleasant as... Yeah, pain, not. painless. No, they go there to die and suffer because... The core belief, apparently, of Mother Teresa, as far as these uh, these places go, yeah. is that suffering brings you closer to Jesus. Yes, and she did. They published some of her writing and her her personal diaries that showed how how she felt about suffering and how she felt that the her wards were were blessed more blessed than her because they were suffering more than she was, and how she envied Padre Pio for his. Mm. Uh, stigmata that she didn't have. Yeah. She she had and she had a lot of of questions in her faith. Yeah. That that also make her sound very hypocritical because yeah. you know, she's forcing her her religious ideals, which is suffering, on other people when she doesn't even firmly believe it herself. Okay, I actually think I, I agree with many speculations to say one of the reasons she wasn't a ma- made a saint right away mm-hmm. was because she was an atheist when she died. <laughs> yeah. Like she she claimed that she searched for God everywhere. You know, she mm-hmm. sincerely searched, but it's nowhere to be found. He, she did not find God even amid all the suffering because her, her theory was and let me just uh, share a story about one of those uh, patients. She said like that one patient was suffering and then Mother Teresa said, don't worry, that's Jesus uh, kissing you or hugging you. When you suffer, that's Jesus kissing you. And, and the patient allegedly said, uh, can you ask Jesus to stop kissing me, please? Because <laughs> it fucking hurts. Anyway, yeah. so Mother Teresa, um, the monster, I think, um, there's no other conclusion. 
if you read what she has done, you know, the not giving the care that these mm -hmm. patients deserve, not even adding uh, an elevator, even yeah. yeah, even when people can't get up uh, s certain stairs, they she wouldn't do that. She would reuse needles. You know that that That's very basic that, that that very basic thing is not mm -hmm. even done. But despite that, Mother Teresa is synonymous with goodness, kindness, and and kindness, right? Mm -hmm. And people like um, Christopher Hitchens ha have written books about yeah. all of the bad things that she has done. But still now, even now, I mean, Christopher Hitchens' book, The Missionary Position, was is several years old. The guy's yes. dead. And even now, still, people think well of Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. She was made a saint uh, this, this, month. this month, right? And the requirements to become a saint is like at least two miracles, two miracles right? Yes. One of those miracles, there was a doctor who said, no, it, there was no miracle yeah. there when they're about the like, ovarian sister or something. No, they said that, that um, Mother Teresa cured this woman of a tumor. Yeah. But uh, and and everyone's like, oh, if that that really happened, that would be miraculous because there is no other way that a tumor yeah. like that could disappear. But her doctor came out a, a few months later saying she didn't even have a tumor. She didn't have the tumor that she uh, said she had. She just had cysts. Yeah. And and he removed them, and that's why they're gone. <laughs> so no miracle there. She's not yes. even supposed to be a saint. Mm -hmm. I mean, as if that has any meaning whatsoever. So That's what true. if someone's a saint? It's just the Catholic Church saying that we will print this person's picture on... On uh, the things on, you can buy in Vatican. On memorabilia, yes. on, on toys. We will make stamps of this person. Mm -hmm. That's all be being a saint really means. Like I said, like the priority of the church when they think of someone as, as good is how faithful they are to the Catholic mm -hmm. Church. You can murder, you can pillage, you can steal, you can rape. You can do yeah. all of those things, all of the evil things that Mother Teresa did, but she promoted Christianity. And yes, and she was a good image. You know, she she exaggerated how bad it was in Kolkata, and you know, she she was saying, "Oh, look at, at these people, and yeah. they're so sad, and they're so poor, and I, and give me your money, I will help them." Okay. They, she was given millions of dollars for these people to live in squalor. Yeah, you would assume that the money would be used to cure the patients, but the accounting is shady. Well, right? that's how like, it always is in Catholic Well, <laughs> To be fair, to be that, fair. That, that's true. The bar is pretty low. But anyway, it's even worse here because she actually yeah. accepted money from the Duvalier mm -hmm. dictatorship in uh, Haiti. Yes. Right? Like she accepts... Not just Haiti. Not, 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 not even... Not even, ju not just that. She's accepted money from all of these shady individuals, yes. from all these evil people, to do what? Not even to cure the poor, but they, just to spread the message mm -hmm. of anti-choice Catholicism. Yes. We are also celebrating the International Women's Day of Action for Safe Abortion. That's on September 28th. So it, it's a nice, or not nice, it's an interesting coincidence that yes. the month that Teresa was made a saint is also the month that we're celebrating this because she called the worst mm, yes. evil in the world abortion. Supposedly. Right? It's not child rape. Mm -hmm. It's not priests raping hundreds of children, yes. you know, torturing them and not being caught, getting away no, with impunity. No. It's not the suffering in, mm -hmm. in, in hunger, in poverty. It's not, you know, dictators. It's not war no the worst thing in the ever. world ever no matter what context is abortion right and she has spread this message of anti-choice bigotry around the world mm -hmm. we have that to thank for her and the catholic church is rewarding her now by making her a saint but they rewarded her even right after her death because there is it is canon for you to wait at least five years after the person's death yeah for you to allow uh, the taking, yeah, beatification, which is the first miracle they should be performing. Okay. The, and that's supposedly to allow for a grace period so that people aren't, you know, taken in by, by their emotions. <laughs> so that people are objective. Yes, right? supposedly for the these scientific. miracles. Yes. Yeah. You need and to be scientific when it comes to, you know, sainting people. Of course, definitely. There's a method, you know. Yeah. And, and she's the first one who was beatified within five years. Yeah. The second was, of course, saint. Now, St. John Paul II. Okay. So, the, the, the sainting of people, this forgiving Teresa, all of her flaws, just because there's this image of goodness, or maybe she has helped. 
um, according to the study in the University of Montreal study, mm -hmm. the only positive thing or the most positive thing Mother Teresa has done is inspire people because they have this idea in their heads yeah. of this woman who's super kind to, to poor suffering people and they become good because of that. Mm -hmm. So it's the idea of her that's helping, not the actual yeah. her. So the idea is better than the actual person. Mm -hmm. The this idea of forgiving people for their flaws, you know, and just yeah, it, isn't that familiar? I think yeah. We, of course, we're the free thinkers. We have to bring it to Duterte here. <laughs> the the the, I, the, num, the millions of people who love Teresa despite her flaws, despite the myth surrounding her. Mm -hmm. I think that really really reflects the situation in the country. You know, people would say that, okay, Duterte inspires people to kill poor, alleged criminals mm -hmm. and all of this violence and all of this bullying online. But despite that, the country will be better for it because when the drug uh, scourge, I mean, the, the, the yeah. drugs have been purged from the country. And really, they just mean the poor people have been purged from the country. Yeah, that will be a good thing, mm -hmm. right? So. This compromise, you know, not judging people for the bad things that they do and only judging them for the good things that they stand for, mm -hmm. you know, not even what they've actually it's, done, but what they stand for. Yeah, not, that's yeah. something that Filipinos have been used to. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, that the sainthood of Mother Teresa is still being celebrated, I bet it's still around 90%. The people who, Surely. who think of Mother Teresa in a good way. You know, and what's the, what are the trust ratings of Duterte? I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm forcing the parallel. Maybe we're not but anyway, sure. this is not a poop on Duterte episode. This is a poop on Mother Teresa, Agnes, okay. Gongsha, Boyaju. Uh, I've gotten used to that. <laughs> I've gotten used to that. Yeah. yeah, this is a poop on her episode. Mm -hmm. So, I hope, you know, some people have been sharing quotes. Yes. Uh, throughout the years, actually. Whenever someone shares quotes about Teresa, it sounds nice, right? But I, 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 kindly, I can say things that sound nice. Yeah, I politely point the, the person to these studies of the bad things that Mother yeah. Teresa has done. You know, on the, you, know, you know that she baptizes Indians yes, against people their... Yes, are about to die. Against their wills. You yeah. know, like, about the, the, you're about to die. You know, oh, you're Hindu, you're not going to heaven. I will make you're you Christian. Baptized. You're welcome. You know, and, and the parents, they have... What, what, what can they do? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean... Not that that means anything, right? Like there's no heaven. Not to us, <laughs> right? Definitely. But still, to the to the other people there. Mm -hmm. And even even for Catholics, it shouldn't be. It's not valid when a baptism is forced. You know, it's yeah. it's funny to think of that considering we baptize babies. Yeah. But yeah, supposedly a baptism should not be considered valid if it's if it's forced on someone if they did not ask for it. I will do uh, a, one anti-religion run. Okay, Allow me one anti-religion rant. You know, sure. the religion does... We haven't, said, we haven't talked about it in a while, so <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Mother Teresa is the symbol for how successful religion is, or, you know, yes. for, for the popularity of religion. Mm -hmm. Because you have this one person whose popularity is based entirely on myths. People love her so much. Mm -hmm. And people deny the facts. They do not want to accept the facts about her, right? And... What does that remind you of? I think it's um, a lot of uh, religions, yes. you know, a lot of religious beliefs. They don't examine the evidence. It makes them feel good. Yeah. You know, who are you to take away the crutches that people use to live in this very hard world? Mm -hmm. Who are you? You are the monster, Red. Yes. Right? So, <laughs> so Mother Teresa is still an angel. Mm. Religion is still a force for good for a lot of people. people. And... Uh, Duterte is still a good president. Best Ma in the solar system. Not as good as Marcos, who was the best president ever. We've in ever the had. Quote mine this part. <laughs> Red Tani saying Marcos is the best president we've ever had. Thank you for watching us poop on Agnes <laughs> Gongja Boyaju. If you want to discuss this, there will be a meetup about it. Details on that on the website and our social media sites. And we also have a subreddit. We are cool. Yes. We are on Reddit. Do ask us questions there. Mm -hmm. On behalf of Talia, Garrick, Tin, Max, Pepper, Frank, Diana, Lizdes, and our millions of staff, see you next week.